Romans 12, verse 19 says, do not take revenge. You know, Jesus said, you have heard that it was said, eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth. But I tell you, if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other also. Though the eye for an eye statement sounds harsh to us, it was actually an enormous step forward in the ancient legal world where powerful people could kill you for a slight injury. You see, this law limited retribution by teaching proportional justice. But it still leaves us with a problem. Instinct says that if someone hurts you, you hurt them back. And the pain you experience always seems worse than the pain that you cause the other person. In an experiment, a group of subjects was paired up and each person received pressure against their finger. Then they were told to exert the same amount of pressure on the other person's finger. When it was their turn, they always inflicted more pain than they received. Always. You see, the result is an eye plus a little something extra for an eye. You say, but this person hurt me and they should pay for it. How much should they pay? That's the question. God alone is capable of answering that question fairly. And his word says, do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge and I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. These were the words of Paul in Romans 12, verses 19 and 21, and they're worthy words for you and I to be familiar with, even to master. As a reminder, in this world, there's going to be pain inflicted by people around us and to us. And let us let God be the one who returns that. I'm Ray Jones, and that's another hard truth for you.